I'm Alan White from Sheridan's Rapids and we're going over to a food plot that we've seen a bit of sign at. I'm going to sit up at a tree stand. We've seen lots of does there and now that the rut's on we're hoping to have a buck come out to the does. Uh, this is a Hoyt Katera. Right now I think it's the top of the line Hoyt bow. Uh, set at 62 pounds. Uh, about 300 feet per second, 330. Nice compound. We've got these uh, cool new broadheads on my arrows. They, uh, most of them fold back when they open up. These ones slide back like this. So they open up to two full inches and uh, the ones that fold back usually don't fold back until they're right inside the deer. This, as soon as it contacts, they open up. So that's a big advantage. More than one maybe, because the tracks are really close together. Yeah? We just came across a trail here. It looks like two deer have crossed here. More. Buck's, Buck's mad about a doe, eh? Another nice scrape, holy. You can tell by the size of this scrape that it's a fair sized deer, but it's not overly huge, but it's not small either, because it's a nice medium sized scrape. We saw lots of good sign when we were coming in here. We saw a couple scrapes and saw a buck track going across here, and there's some manure just over there set up here in the stand looking overlooking the food plot so hopefully things turn out good for us the deer usually come out from in front of us we've seen lots of does here we haven't seen any bucks yet but we're hoping now that the rut's on that we'll have the bucks going after the does and we'll get a nice one in here we're going to do some rattling and grunting and hopefully draw one into this clearing and hopefully we get lucky Saw a nice eight pointer in on the right, but he never came out. There was a spike horn came out just down in front of us, and I held off on him hoping the eight pointer would come out, but he never did. That's, uh -huh, that's hunting.